Pour yourself a cold drink, because I got a whole round of trivia for you on cold songs. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. It comes out every day. If you like trivia, you can listen to it on your dog walk, on your workout, on your road trip. And man, I've been getting some really cool reviews and messages from people who listen to this on the road traveling for the holidays. So thank you so much for going and leaving those iTunes reviews. Now, if you leave a review, Just send me an email, ryanbuds at gmail.com, and let me know that you did so I know to look for your review and to get your address so I can send you something cool in the mail. Here's a couple new reviews we've had as of late. Uh, This one says, Family Friendly Fun from 20 hours ago. We love listening to this trivia podcast while traveling. Our kids like to participate. I'm glad we can allow them to listen and join in on the fun. They also love when we take them to trivia and then a question similar to the ones on the podcast are asked and they know the answer. So that's cool. That's from Game Lover Girl 2098. Thank you so much, Game Lover Girl. That was very cool of you. We also had this one, Perfect for Road Trips from Sunday. Sarah on the Space Coast, five stars. Perfect entertainment for road trips. We love to binge the show on long drives the concise subjects and episodes give us a lot of variety and fun topics to choose from the studio recorded episodes are my favorite buds is fun and entertaining throughout the show and that's from sarah on the space coast thank you so much sarah now not all the reviews i get are five stars but i do like to share them anyway here's one from someone named buzz 153 two stars and the subject is meh which is a word that i'm just gonna say i don't like uh (laughs) m-e-h (laughs) This is the review. Wanted to listen to trivia? Instead, we got a man talking about his life with decent trivia mixed in. That's the whole review. All right, Buzz. Well, thanks for taking the time to leave the two-star review and let me know. Uh, I do talk about my life on the show because if I just read questions, I would get bored with it. So uh, if you don't like my life, I apologize. But I am glad you liked the decent trivia. He said the trivia was decent. So even if you're not super, super fond of the show, I do like to hear from you. And uh, again, just email me anytime you leave a review and I'll make sure to send you some cool stuff in the mail. I do want to mention, by the way, that that last review was one of the most uh, recent times I've been called a man in my life. (laughs) Instead, we got a man talking about his life with decent trivia mixed in. At least he called me a man. Thank you, Buzz. All right, we are going to jump into today's episode. It is kind of wintry themed. It's cold songs. So all these things will have to do with cold and ice and snow and winter. And I hope you have fun playing along. 11 questions coming up right now. Here we go. Cold song trivia around on chili themed tunes. Question number one. What single word band had the hit song Cold as Ice in 19? 19- 77. What single word band had the hit song Cold as Ice in 1977? Question number two. In the chorus of Katy Perry's Hot and Cold song, what's the next line after she says you're hot and you're cold? Number two. In the chorus of Katy Perry's Hot and Cold song, what's the next line after she says you're hot and you're cold? Question number three, what Christmas song features the line thumpity thump thump? Number three, what Christmas song features the line thumpity thump thump? Question number four, what year was the song Ice Ice Baby released? Was it 1989, 1990, or 1991? What year did Ice Ice Baby come out? Question number five, the song Baby It's Cold Outside first appeared in a 1949 rom-com called Blank's Daughter. Hint, the blank is a planet. Number five, the song Baby It's Cold Outside first appeared in a 1949 rom-com called Blank's Daughter. Hint, the blank is a planet. Number five. Question number six, what duo had the hit song A Hazy Shade of Winter? Number six, what duo had the hit song A Hazy Shade of Winter? Question number seven, which Disney character sings the song, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? Number seven, which Disney character sings a song called, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? 
Question number eight. What band has a song called Undone, the Sweater Song? Number eight. What band has a song called Undone, the Sweater Song? Question number nine. What band's female singer says they buy me all these ices in a hit 2005 song? Number nine. What band's female singer sings they buy me all these ices in a hit 2005 song? Question number 10. In Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, the singer says it doesn't show signs of stopping, but I brought some what for what? What are those two what's? Number 10, in Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, the singer says it doesn't show signs of stopping, but I've brought some what for what? Number 10. And your bonus question for cold songs on today's episode. For two points, the song of the heart, Jump and Move, and Boogie Wonderland are all songs from what hit cold animated movies soundtrack. Here that one is again. For two points, the Song of the Heart, Jump and Move, and Boogie Wonderland are all songs from what hit cold animated movies soundtrack. That's the end of Cold Song Trivia. We'll be right back in just a second with the chilly answers. Back with the answers to Cold Song Trivia. Let's see how you did. Number one, what single word band had the hit song Cold as Ice in 1977? That one word band was Foreigner. Number one, Foreigner. I didn't know that song was that old. Number two, in the chorus of Katy Perry's Hot and Cold song, what is the next line after she says, you're hot and you're cold, you're yes, then you're no. That's what I was looking for there, you're yes, then you're no. Number three, what Christmas song features the line, thumpity thump thump, Frosty the Snowman. Number three, Frosty the Snowman. Number four, what year was the song Ice Ice Baby released? 1989, 1990, or 91? It was the first choice, 89. Late 80s song, Ice Ice Baby. Number five, the song Baby It's Cold Outside first appeared in a 1949 rom-com called Neptune's Daughter. Neptune. Number six, what duo had the hit song A Hazy Shade of Winter, Simon and Garfunkel. Number six, Simon and Garfunkel. Number seven, what Disney character sings a song called Do You Want to Build a Snowman? That would be Anna from Frozen. Anna. Number eight, what band has the song called Undone the Sweater Song? That's Weezer. Weezer. Number nine, what band's female singer says they buy me all these ices in a hit 2005 song? That would be the Black Eyed Peas and Fergie. Number 10, in Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, the singer says, it doesn't show signs of stopping, but I've brought some corn for popping. Corn for popping. Number 10. And the bonus for two points, the song of the heart, Jump and Move, and Boogie Wonderland are all songs from what hit animated cold movie soundtrack that would be Happy Feet. Happy Feet. Those are your answers. And now we have the question of the day. And the question of the day is brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs. These guys make amazing stuff from T-shirts to bottle openers to stickers to whatever you need. Check them out at fmdesignsinc.com, San Dimas, California made. What is Hulk Hogan's real first name? Tweet me your answer at RyanBuds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Chicago for the setting of the film The Breakup. And your trivia team name of today is Dressed to Spill, which is a perfect team name for my wife, Ashley, who constantly spills things. <laughs> All right. That is it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for listening to the show. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for leaving iTunes reviews. And we'll see you tomorrow for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.